I, I ask myself the question, what if the primary component to our destiny isn't education, skill, experience, capability, or calling, but instead it's faith? <laughs> what if we are spending our lives waiting for the ultimate opportunity, but God is waiting for us to believe what he already said about us? What, what, if, what if our faith is responsible for our current reality? And your daily life is unfolding in the visible realm according to the invisible expectations of your heart. What I'm getting at is, what if your current condition is actually directly related to the faith you have? Now you're like, well, you're trying to say that I'm going through a hard time and it's my fault? No, I'm saying it's your responsibility. That's right. <laughs> Here we go. Are, are you with me? I'm saying, what? You're like, I'm not trying to give you, I'm not trying to shame you. I'm trying to give you hope. If you're anything like me, you have areas of your life where you have great faith. I have great faith for finances. I mean, uh, several years ago, a really generous man, Kathy and I prayed that God would pay off our house. Literally two weeks later, literally two weeks later, a man paid, came, uh, came into a meeting we were in, said, God sent me to pay off your house, and he paid off $486,000 for our house. Yeah, I mean, that's, I could tell you miracle, miracle after miracle that Kathy and I have had for money. I have great faith for money. When I see the $100 million building, I'm like, I realize it's ridiculous, but so is $486,000 paid off in one day. Right. Are you with me? I'm saying my testimony, my testimony, if I keep my testimony, how many know it raises my faith level? I'm going to go, if God did it before, he'll do it again. Yeah. And I find in my life, I have great faith for some things, and I'm like Pee Wee Herman and others. Do you have that? Like, it's crazy how small faith, I, like I literally have areas that I don't think I've grown in in 50 years of falling God. I, I, I'm like, and people are, that's embarrassing. They're like, what do you want me to pray for? I'm like, you sound like a, a grasshopper. <laughs> and I'm saying that I believe that God, God wants me, Chris Valentin, to grow up in faith. He doesn't want me just to have faith for money. He wants me to have faith for healing. He wants me to have faith for, and I'm not even going to tell you what things I don't have faith for because then you'll come up and like, you give me prescriptions and I don't need your prescriptions. I have enough prescriptions. I just lack faith. <laughs> Here we go. I told you that Paul said, last, last time I told you, Paul said that the goal of his entire apostleship is to bring about the obedience of faith. Just think about this, he's doing lots of things. He's healing the sick, he has extraordinary miracles, he's talking to kings, he meets with Caesar, but he said the goal of his entire apostleship is that obedience, the obedience of faith. How important is faith? You can't even please God if you don't have faith. We got into the kingdom by faith, but it's important that we extend our life and we grow from faith to faith and we do more than just get saved. Are you with me? So I want to ask you this, like, are you living beyond your means? Because if you're living, faith requires us to live beyond our means, beyond our ability, beyond our natural capacity to perform. Some of you are like, I'm in debt to my eyeballs, to my eyeballs. Yeah, I, 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 I live beyond my means. Put everything on MasterCard so he'll pay it off. <laughs> you didn't get that anyway. I, I, I mean... <laughs> We know what it is to live beyond our means where we outspend what we make. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about that unless you're living beyond your means, you're not living by faith. You're living by what you can do. And I'm saying we are called to live by what he can do. That means I have to live beyond my means and into his. God's like, I want you to go do this thing. You go, I can't do that. That's the point. That's why he told you to do it. 